I don't practice at all. I used to, but I don't anymore. Mr. Baker, how are you? How am I? Yeah. I'm old. <laughs> I'm not into 20 minute solos anymore. I don't actually practice on my kit, but I practice in bed. <laughs> I do, like, I hear things. I'm a drummer, that's what I do. Ginger Baker is a living legend. Mesmerizing on stage, notoriously volatile off it, he was one of the founding fathers of rock. Or was he? I didn't play rock music. Cream was a jazz band, 80% improvisation. Nothing ever got close to it, or ever will. of himself as a jazz drummer. He was just in a rock and roll setting, but he hates rock drummers. Mooney was a huge fan of mine, and I thought the world of him, but as a drummer, he was nowhere near. Ginger has strong opinions about certain things. John Bonham, he was a good drummer, but he was nowhere near my level. Most things. <laughs> It annoys me considerably that these people, obviously, they don't really listen to music properly. I used to go to the jazz clubs and I would just look at the drummer as all I was interested in. Lenny Hastings, Colin Bowden, Phil Seaman. Phil was like a hero. I don't know, it was in the Flamingo All Nighters. Apparently, Tubby Hayes heard me and ran up the road to Ronnie's in Gerard Street and said to Phil, Get down to Flamingo and got the drummer. So I got off the stage and there was God. <laughs> he went, Yeah, I want to work with you. He went back to his flat and he played me all this African stuff. He said to me, of all the drummers I've tried to show this to, you're the only one that got it. As a drummer, he was the guy that kind of took this jazz sensibility and he turned it into rock. I really think he was the first one that put the drums at the front. He was an equal to Eric Clapton and Jack Bruce in Cream. It wasn't two guitarists and the drummer sat at the back. It was complete equality. And I can't think of anyone that did it before Ginger. What if we do Sunshine? Is that, is that satisfying? Jack turned up with this riff that was... And... You know, it was too fast, you know, and I said, slow it down and let's go. It's the African thing. It's the toms. You know. A 
up until that point, I don't know that anybody was really playing those type of beats behind that music. Ginger's playing in Cream demanded that drummers be taken seriously as musicians and as performers. Oh, there's an old sign of bands just as good as a drummer. Yeah. The band didn't last long, but Ginger's influence was huge. At least, uh, I don't know, I'll be remembered, I think. <laughs> and while Cream played their farewell concert, another supergroup was just getting started. It's cool, it's groovy, it's number one, the Led Zeppelin. The Led uh, what? <laughs> 